If you're looking for a digital microscope that is very easy to be able to operate, one that you could take photos on, one that you could take videos on, or that you could just observe whatever it is that you're looking at, let me show you a closer view of this one. This is great for things like coins or jewelry. It has up to 1000 times magnification on it. I am going to demonstrate what it looks like on a diamond as well as a penny. It's also really easy to set up. I wanted to point out that we do have the charging port right here in the back and then we can put our own SD card in here. The reason you would want that is if you wanted to be able to take and then store your photos or videos. This is quite a stable device and we do have the non-slip grips here at the bottom. We have a measurement table down here. We also have these little tabs. So if you wanted to affix and then secure something on here, then you could. Right here is where we make the adjustments to the actual microscope on this. So if you get this and you put something down here and it does not look too clear, the first thing you'll wanna do is to come here and then to make your adjustments. Right here, we are able to toggle this to be able to move this up and down. We can just come over here and then turn it and then you'll see that the microscope can be adjusted to go up or down. Once you do make the adjustment that's suitable for your needs, you can come over here and then you can lock or unlock everything into place. We have the on and the off switch right here. We have our menu. We can toggle over with these buttons and then press OK to confirm whatever we're working on. Something I wanted to point out with this one is on the menu right here, one of the first things you might want to do is to come over here and press menu twice and then toggle down until you find USB. Because if you plan on just plugging this into a regular wall outlet with the USB charger, then you are gonna to wanna to come here, press OK, and then make sure that you're on charging mode with this. If you do not have your own USB-C charging cable, this does come with one. I just grabbed an old penny and I'm going to come down here and I will just set it into place. As you can see, everything looks pretty blurry, but we can come here to make our adjustments until we get everything into focus. If we do it a little bit too much, it's going to go out of focus. So you'll just make the adjustments that you want to. So let's see that we were coming here to see if there were any kind of damage or deformities, or of course, if we wanted to just come over here and then see what the date was and we can easily do that. I can come here to that lever on the side and then I can make the adjustments to come up a little bit if I wanted to, just like this. I have a Leo diamond, so let's take a look at what this looks like underneath the microscope. And we'll try to focus in as best as we can. As you can see, the quality on this is very impressive. You can see the other diamonds on my setting. So it's really fun to be able to play around with. It's actually pretty neat to have something that kind of magnifies as much as this one does. That way you can see what things look like this close up. I have another ring here that we can take a look at. I'll try to get this as clear as possible. So as you can see, we can see the detail very well. You can see some of my fingerprints on this. So this is really fantastic. I've been liking this one a lot, especially for jewelry. So I just wanted to give my updated thoughts on this one and hopefully this helps.